a very good morning to all the students of puc second year arts science and commerce i am muhammad gulam rabani from department of english working at nehru arts science and commerce college kentucky hubli dear students today i would like to deal a topic by name the gardener this is lesson number 7th so before commencing the topic again i would like to remind you that you did not have time hardly 4 to 5 months so pay attention towards your studies focus on your studies collect materials notes read write understand and i always emphasize on that you try to focus on your studies instead of roaming here and there use your time on studies and you'll be rewarded when the result will be displayed and you will feel very happy you'll be in a cloud nine when you'll get very good result so my dear students before starting the topic it is a tradition of english lecturer that we commence the topic with the introduction of the writer or the poet so here is the author p lankesh whenever you are going to write for descriptive answer that is for four marks answer you have to, you have to write a few sentences re relating to the writer so that it will enrich it will beautify the answer enrich the answer and the examiner will be pleased will be happy and he will give marks wholeheartedly so my dear students you should know a few sentences about the writer so the writer is p lankesh p lankesh p lankesh was born in the year 1935 and died in 2000 is an indian writer and journalist who wrote in kannada language so he was a multi talented man he was not only writer but also journalist who used to write in kannada language after graduating with an honors degree in english from central college at bengaluru lankesh completed his master of arts degree in english from maharaj college mysore p lankesh first work was keriya niranu kerige cheli what is it it is a collection of short stories which was published in the year 1963 and he followed this with several more collections of short stories and poetry later on he wrote short stories and poetry too and he had contributed three novels then critical essays also he contributed in kannada literature and he translated also some of the old and ancient works like sophocles antigone as well as several plays and films also his 1976 films pallavi 
a cinematic narration it was a cinematic narration told from the female protagonist's point of view and based on his novel bruku won india's national award for his for best direction so he was a director also he awarded best direction so he was man of letters wrote not only novels poetry he was journalist and he was director also the another writer is s yes, h raghavendra rao he translated this works that is the gardener now come to page number first that is i would like to start now the lesson it is very interesting lesson and there is a story within a story a story of a narrator or the owner of plantation or garden and the person the old man who was working in the garden he was narrating another story to the wife of the gardener or to the wife of the plantation or the narrator also we can see it is full of suspense and in my next class you will be able to understand the whole story so in first class i would like to explain about the narrator the first story the first part so let me start here elaboration can only empowerish this account and make it less authentic so according to author he says that if this story will be elaborated more then there would be less authentic or less authenticity you will find le less reality and i conceived this story in a flash there is a narrator and he understood the story in a flash it has its genesis in my chance encounter with an old man so there is a narrator he met an old man he encountered means met with an old man and he was standing in a coconut grove grove near chinraya patan the old man he was leaning against the coconut trees or standing near by coconut trees in chinraya patan name of a place his eyes were suffused with strange memories and native intelligence so now the narrator he tells the characteristic of the old man who comes from far away place is standing near the coconut trees so how the man was looking the narrator is describing the characteristic feature of old man says his eyes were suffused with strange memories and native intelligence so his eyes were suffused means fixed with strange memories he was carrying strange memories and native intelligence it indicates something different later on you will come to know so he stood there the old man who came in chindaya patan he was standing nearby coconut trees he was tall a tall figure he was very heighted man hair gone gray his hair was gray in color it 
means that half black half white he, a long beak like nose his nose like a beak and his strong muscular arms though he was old man yet he was having muscular arms he was energetic he was very much very much enthusiastic he was potential though he was old in one hand a spade used to tend the coconut trees the man was holding a spade an instrument to dig the soil out and a newspaper tucked under his arm so there was newspaper under his arm what it shows that the old man was an educated person he was a laborer overseer overseer means superintendent or supervisor we can say and flow surfer so he was not only laborer but he was also overseer and flow surfer all rolled into one so all qualities like philosophy then what is called the quality of handling the labors then the quality of supervision all rolled into one person and that was in old man he came to this garden one day after walking hundreds of miles so he came to this garden one day the old man came to this garden one day or the plantation which plantation coconut tree plantation after walking hundreds of miles so he walked around hundreds of miles came to the garden the owner of this plantation needed a person exactly like him so the owner of the plantation he needed a person exactly like him he needed a labor with the quality and he found the man with all the qualities of a hard working labor a few words were exchanged there was communication between old man and the owner of the plantation the old man stayed on he was really useful he was well versed in agriculture so this man was very very useful and useful and he was well versed in agriculture he had knowledge in agriculture in cultivation he was expert in agriculture and could understand the problems of workers so he can understand the problems of the workers too a petty theft in garden came to an end so the lower of income of the garden came to an end the income from the garden improved dramatically so drastically there was improvement in income there was a perceptible change in the lifestyle of the owner so there was a perceptible change in the lifestyle of the owner now the owner became very rich and there was a change in the attitude of the owner of the plantation as it is human nature once a poor man becomes rich suddenly or drastically or dramatically there is a change in attitude in the way of life in style and it occurred in the in the owner of the plantation also but it does not happens with everyone you keep it in your mind
The plantation expanded, so due to the arrival of old men, there was a perceptible change in the lifestyle of the owner. The owner became very rich. Why? Because of the arrival of and the hard working and diligence of the old man. So the plantation expanded, it is enlarged, but the owner became lethargic and shied away from hard work. But now what happened? The owner became very, very lethargic. Lethargic means la lazy. He became very lazy and shied away from hard work. Now he is not paying towards his, he is not paying attention towards his work. He shied away from his hard work. Before the arrival of the old man, he used to wake up early in the morning, going to his field, working under the sunshine, coming back to his home, spending time with his family members, and leading a happy life. But now what happened? You will come to know. His wife found all this very strange. Wife of uh, the owner fa found all this very strange. What is the strange? The change in the attitude of the owner. He became very busy man. That's why she was noticing the activities of her husband. She found it hard to decide whether the old man's arrival was for the better or for the worse. She was in dilemma. She was confused that whether the old man's arrival was good or bad, better or worse. Her husband's wealth and social prestige had risen higher and higher. So the her husband's wealth and social prestige had risen higher and higher. People used to recognize him. People used to greet him because of his wealth and social prestige. He acquired a number of friends in the next town and an equal number in his own village. So, the owner of the plantation, he used to acquire number of friends in the next town and equal number in his own village. It means that he was extending friendship in the neighboring town and cities and making friendship equal friendship in his own village too. Even though he had precious little to do, his life became crowded with colorful events. So his, uh, even though he had precious little to do, he had precious little to do. He was not having work because all the work has been given to the old man and old man shouldered the responsibility of improving the plantation, the garden. His life became crowded with the colorful events. So his life became very much crowded with colorful events. He was actively participating in the events in the functions and especially colorful events and the functions, visiting to friends, parties and others and other places. She became apprehensive about his adultery. So it is natural that wife is concerning a lot about her friend about, sorry, about her husband and she was very much fearful, apprehensive means fearful about the adultery of her husband. He became womanizer, 
and until other vices he involved in other vices also in bad habits also he was addicted with bad bad habits cultivated cultivated lately thanks to his newly acquired clout their farm which was merely 10 acres had grown beyond their imagination so their farm was merely 10 acres earlier now had grown beyond their imagination why because of the arrival of an expert in a form of old man now they enlarged an extended plantation and it was beyond the imagination of any anyone who reads and study this story that was fine that they improved in extending plantation but their life also was gradually getting out of hand their life life of wife and the husband of the plantation was gradually gradually means slowly getting out of hand when she was in a fix like this when she was totally involved and uh, she was in the thought process of that one day the old man met her and behaved as though he knew all about her plight so one day the old man met her and he was behaving like he knew each and everything about her plight plight means about her suffering because he was very matured man he read the expression fa- facial expression of the wife of the owner and the old man he smiled at her and brought down an offering of tender coconuts from a nearby tree so old man when he saw the fa- facial expression of the lady he simply smiled and brought down and offered a tender coconuts the coconuts with full of water from a nearby tree he sat on the embankment of the well the old man he sat on the embankment embankment means wall built around well he sat she had no alternative she sat next to him she did not have any other alternative and she sat next to him the sun was slipping away into the western horizon horizon it what it indicates that it was evening time the sun was going to set his rays were his means sun's rays were reaching the walls of the well through the foliage foliage means leaves of coconut mango and jackfruit trees it means that there was a shadow of coconut trees mango leaves and jackfruit trees it means that it was evening time it was a dusk time the old man began his narrative so as i told you in the beginning that there is a story within a story the first story was about the narrator or we can say about the farmer or the owner of the plantation now the old man is narrating another story telling another story to the wife of the owner of the plantation they sit on the embankment of the well on the wall built around the well and he started narrating the story 
what is the story the that was narrated by the old man who was working under the owner of the plantation he narrates like that in a far off place once there was a man called tamanna now the old man is narrating the story of tamanna and says that once upon a time there was a man called tamanna he had everything so he had everything 10 acres of wetland the old man is narrating a story of tamanna this is another story now narrated by old man to the wife of owner so this man that is tamanna had 10 acres of wet land that is called fertilized land a comfortable house he was having a comfortable house to people too ready to do his bidding so people used to recognize the man respect tamanna because of his social prestige the most important among all his possession was his rival sanguji so now the old man is narrating the story that the most important among all his possession was his rival sanguji so sanguji was rival rival means enemy or competitor of basavaya and basavaya was later on you will come to know about basavaya sanguji is none other than basavaya only so sanguji was possession of tamanna and tamanna was also possession of sanguji after proceeding this far the old man started fumbling for words so after proceeding this far the old man started fumbling for words as though he had committed a mistake so the old man when he took the name of sanguji instead of basavaya he was fumbling the words he was finding out the words as though he had committed a mistake what it indicates it indicates that a little ago he committed mistake by taking name of sanguji actually he was not sanguji he was basavaya and he was narrating the real story wanted to make it fiction wanted to take unreal name but he was fumbling with the, the with the words that's why later on he told the real name she was listening the story that was narrated by the old man she felt like going away she felt that she should go and it was evening time also but saying all oh, this is none of my concern she was thinking that the story was not relating to her it was none of her concern however unwilling to hurt the old man she did not want to hurt the old man she did not want to hurt the emotion of the old man she continued to sit there quietly she continued to sit there quietly and simply listening the story narrated by the old man about tamanna and basavaya the old man went on so the old man went on saying the story narrating the story further he says no his name was not sangoji it was basavaya so further he says that he was not sangoji it was basavaya that's why he was fumbling as i told you he expressed his amazement 
at how facts take on such varied guises when they are narrated as fiction so he expressed his amazement at how facts take on such varied guises so when he was amazed at how facts take on external appearance when they are narrated as fiction when they are narrated as fiction he was fumbling with the words dear students this is the first part in next class i will complete the story of tamanna and basuya that is another story and it is full of suspense suspense will be revealed in next class that who was the old man who was working hard and improved the plantation dramatically and narrating a story to the wife of the owner you will come to know the fact and the reality of the old man at the end of the story so in next class you will come to know the end of the story dear students let me stop for the day go through this video read write and understand it so from your text now i started narrating the story or explaining the sentences the words so that you will understand each and everything this was my sole purpose of explaining line by line this is my only purpose so that you can comprehend you can understand the story completely so dear students let me stop for the day i will continue to the next class